Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you about the day when Jesus Christ was crucified for our sin. It was uh, on a Friday. He'd had a long night. He'd been arrested the night before, falsely accused, and tried in an illegal uh, court, and finally was found guilty by this stacked court that was intended intentionally designed to find him guilty. And so they started hauling him back and forth between uh, the uh, Roman prefect and the uh, governor of that area. And it ended up that the Pontius Pilate finally caved in and decided they would crucify him to satisfy or please the crowd and the religious leaders. And so Jesus Christ was nailed to a cross and on his right and on his left were two others, two criminals. The scriptures say, uh, there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. So there were three Marys there. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now, I think it's interesting to note that while Jesus Christ was suffering upon the cross, he was concerned about his mother. And he made sure that John, the beloved disciple, would, uh, make, would be taking good care of Jesus' mother, Mary, because by this time, her husband Joseph was had died, and so she was a widow. And then he t says to the disciple, Behold your mother. And then this disciple, John, took responsibility for the mother of Jesus Christ. Something you should note. Jesus Christ honored the, tenth, the Ten Commandments, and the one that says, Honor your father and mother. And even though it says for you, this will give you many years or extend your life for Jesus Christ, he knew he was doing this because his life was very close to an end, complete opposite. And it says, after this, Jesus, knowing all things were accomplished, that the scripture might be full, said, I thirst. And he was, he was very thirsty when you're nailed to a cross and you've been bleeding and you're losing body fluids and so forth. He was very, very thirsty. It says a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there. Basically, that's vinegar, water. And they filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a hyssop and put it to his mouth. So when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. That means Jesus Christ literally died. He physically died upon the cross. And he died so that he would satisfy the wrath and justice of God the Father. And it says, therefore, because it was preparation day, the bodies shouldn't remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high day. The Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other. But when they came to Jesus and saw he was already dead, they didn't break his legs. Listen, the Roman soldiers were experts in death. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear and immediately out uh, came out blood and water. And the, the teaching there is that when a person dies, the fluids in your body begin to separate. And so out came blood and water separating in his body, a proof of the, he was physically dead. It says, these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled, not one of his bones shall be broken. And again, another scripture says, they shall look on him whom they pierced. So all of the things related to the death of Jesus on the cross fulfilled scripture. What is important for us to remember about this is that Jesus was willing to go through all this suffering because he loves you and me and because he saw our sin and he knew that we would be unable to ever meet the holy expectations of God. Jesus Christ, one who has never committed sin, took responsibility for your sin and mine and died for our sin, paying the penalty for us. Do you believe on Jesus? He literally died for you because he loves you that much. Put your trust in him. You'll never regret it. God bless you.